Hey guys, how's it going? Tyler Ames Rock 50 here, and um, based on the title and uh, what you're seeing here, um, well, uh, this is a new strategy for Hydro Dam, and may I say, this one kind of kicks ass. I noticed that my previous strategy was kind of weak in some areas, especially to like all-out rainbow reaver rushes and like some early round harassment, so I decided to uh, make some improvements, and uh, um, this is actually really good. Um, I get more economy. I um, am able to just defend better overall, and it's a lot more comfortable. So, um, yeah, if we're, there's going to be like four games in this video. The first three are primitive forms of the strategy, and the last game is going to be the final evolved form of the strategy. But you're going to see, like, all the ins and outs of kind of what happens. And uh, this entire video should explain everything. So, we are on Hydro Dam against Tyrell333. He's actually using my old strategy. Uh, yeah, kind of interesting, but, uh, yeah. So I start out with the mortar. I know, crazy, right? But it, uh, I guess it works. Um, just because I kind of need the mortar for camo detection. The only difference, I guess, between this strategy and the old strategy based on loadout is I use the tax shooter instead of the, uh, boats. Which makes sense because boats just aren't that strong and they really weren't that useful. So I start with, out with the 1-0 mortar. Kind of stole the early rounds make sure the round went to its full length. And then I kind of got, like, a 1- or a uh, 1-1 dartling. I actually tried to do my best surviving with just the 0-1 dartling through round 5. It works out alright if you're willing to sacrifice some lives and if you have some good micro. Which, by the way, the strategy does need pretty good micro with dartling stalling and such. Um, you kind of need it. So yeah, 1-1 um, one, one, uh, dartling by round 6. And then a 3-0 can. Something you note may have noted throughout uh, this uh, game and you will know us in the other games is that I do some dartling stalling but but basically what I do is like on purpose I will leave like um like um the last balloon like on the waves alive like for a extended period of time just the round goes to its uh, latest extent and that works out really really nicely um, just um, dartling stalling like that and, um, as you can see, I got a pretty good economy, like, almost 700. Oh, and there's a tax shooter. As you can see, like, at about round 9, I stopped with the economy, and I got, uh, mortar up to 2, 3 for camel section, and then I got my, uh, tax shooter right for Blade Maelstrom. Yeah, just making sure, because that is what I do against all rainbow rushes. I may have to, uh, sell and rebuy if necessary. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, but it worked out quite nicely. Then I get our laser cannon for round 15, and uh, you should see pretty shortly how well this helps. Laser cannon plus uh, mortar plus bomb tower combo can hold off a pretty average size rush um, in this game. Let's see, I forget how big the rush. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm taunting Tyrell. He's a nice guy. I like playing with him. Rush him, I dare you. I believe he actually sends a $9,000 rainbow and ceramic combo rush, which I take down pretty darn easily. Um, I actually used the uh, Blade Maelstrom to help me out just because I have quite a bit of extra money there. But, um, yeah, overall, this worked quite nicely. However, um, it is relatively kind of weak to, like, bigger rushes, which is why you'll see in the very last game. The last game is what matters the most. Um, is, um, well, is... Much easier way to hold off these rushes. So anyways, we're getting into late game. Yes, round 19. He actually held off the mob, but leaked like 80 lives or so. I'm getting two mob mobs, and now I'm getting another dartling gun. Look at that, just randomly dartling right there. He's actually selling uh, for a mob and ceramic combo attack, but look at that. It's doing no damage to me. And I even hold off the natural ceramics too, and I beat him. There we go. Up against Tyrell again on the uh, um, Hydro Dam again. And we're going to kind of test out some of the... Um, extremes of this strategy um just to see um just see what it can and can't handle how far i can go so anyways yeah he's actually copying me this time got the mortar up um if you noticed i kind of like upgraded you know how like when you upgrade a tower um and like it stops shooting for a bit that's why i do to like let a couple balloons get by and uh, ignore the chat because i apparently just cannot spell d's so that that, that never happened trust me but apparently the sensor doesn't sensor damn it, which actually makes no sense to me, What, what whatever's. Dartling stalling. Um, yeah, I, I think I have a 1-1 Dartling right now, which is pretty much all I'm really going to need, just economy balloons. Um, so yeah, as you see, the old strategy got about 550 economy. This new strategy can comfortably get you to like 650 economy or more. I mean, in, in like these couple games, I'm actually getting like 700, but this is like the um, 
insecure way of doing it. If like playing like a noob like Chris or something, nah. If you're playing, if you're playing like Chris who actually doesn't send that like odd attacks, this 700 economy should be perfectly fine for you. However, if you're playing like super dupe, someone super duper good like Speedo or Evil Day or Dark Fliction, I don't know. Some of those really good guys, you're probably gonna need to cut your economy a bit earlier. So yeah, I'm doing a little bit of micro. But as you see, um, a Woo, I actually leaked a lot of lives right there. <laughs> kind of goofed right now. But uh, yeah, my mortar wasn't up to 1-2 uh, in time. I, I get that before round 6, so I can deal with blacks. Because a 1-2 mortar and a 1-1 one -one dart gun actually works out quite nicely for round 8. Um, defends me quite well. And then I get a 3-0 cannon for extra defense. Because extra defense is required. It is very, very necessary. Um, you know, it's just good with dealing with like the uh, massive amounts of uh, balloons, I guess. So yeah, I'm still being very, very greedy. I mean, this is incredibly greedy for Hydro. Like 685, I can't, I can't really read that. It's kind of small on Windows Movie Maker, but whatever. It's pretty epic amount of economy. At 685 economy, what does he have? 627. So yeah, we're up into 600, and uh, but yeah, the stalling helps out a lot. Um, this is like the main part of the strategy. So anyways, round 13. I, I have enough money for the Maelstrom for sure, but I'm not getting because he's not sending a Rainbow Rush. So I'm like, yeah. So at this one, I'm just saving up for a laser can. Oh look, a small Rainbow Regrush. Might as well get the Maelstrom for that. Yes, I had the money, but now I gotta sell some other stuff. I barely. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? But I barely afford the laser cannon in time. I do get that eventually, which works out nicely. And then get a 3 2 cannon, which is extra popping power. The idea is that the laser cannon does the most overall damage, like the ceramics and rainbows, and 3 2 cannon cleans up. Again, this is just kind of safer against opponents who like aren't super duper good, but are decently good. Yeah, if you're playing, playing super duper a good opponent, this is going to be way too greedy for you. So anyways, going into late game, we'll see how much stuff I can and can't handle. I don't know. Can I hold like a fast cooldown MOA brush? Can I hold down BFB? Actually, as a matter of fact, I have held off a uh, fast cooldown MOA brush with uh, this late game strat. <laughs> this worked out quite nicely. Nicely. I believe it was against Crazy Aliens. He sent like 10 fast cooldown mobs against me. And I demolished them. It worked out so sexily. Sexy, I guess. But uh, as you see here, I do not have adequate defenses. I actually have to s sell, I think. I don't know. Do I end up selling some stuff? I want to get the Hydro Rocket Pods. Because that is an epic, epic tower. Uh, definitely worth the money. But uh, something I learned in this game is that um, I should actually try selling the Mortar. Um, cause I only had one more mower. I usually have two more mowers at this point. That is what you want. You want two more mowers. But I should have sold the mortar, cause it's basically useless at this point, cause I had two darlings, and unfortunately I cannot hold off a regrow BFB with the single mower bar. Oh no. Maybe with improved defense, like, I don't know, a, a second mower mower to destroy the mobs quickly, cause then the 4-2 can could come into play and stall stuff too. So anyways, yeah, now we are up against General Snurper, our Eric. <laughs> He's very, very surprised about starting off the mortar. Like, you mad, bro? <laughs> I was thinking of doing that. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Totally believable. But yeah, this is just another random inter interesting game where you get to see more stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah. This this mortar surprises people, but it works out kind of nicely. Um, it, it's basically the same thing as a bomb, starting off with just a regular zero, ca zero cannon, but the main reason I get it instead of a cannon is because um, cannons can't get Bernie stuff, and I definitely prefer the Bernie stuff for round 10. So anyways, in case you didn't see Eric's little thing in the chat, hashtag blame Tyler is now trending in Cambodia, the new big thing. Apparently I get blamed for everything now, so uh, yeah, try it. <laughs> so anyways, he is sending pinks against me, I should probably uh, get up my 0-1 Dartling. A 1-1 Dartling would uh, completely defend against the pinks. I actually get it this game. I actually am not lazy this time. So I guess that kind of worked out nicely. But yeah, Eric's actually using something similar to my old strategy as well. However, I kind of exploit it like a lot with pinks and stuff. Um, this new strategy is a lot more secure, which is very, very helpful. Um, do keep in mind, Dartling stalling is necessary. You got to do that. Absolutely necessary for getting high amounts of economy. And I got my burning stuff mortar, so I'm pretty much set. Blacks really are not going to do that much damage to me. Like, if you send blacks constantly from round 6 to round 8, you're probably going to do maybe 30 lives at most damage to me. And really, that's just screwing yourself over with the economy. I'd much rather be sending economy balloons during that time. Yeah, we really don't know what we're doing at this point. Getting my cannon. At least 3-0. I actually think just a 3-0 can would be fine. I don't even need to get the 3-1 because uh, the mortar also has some extra splash damage. So I'd be perfect fine against a Regal Yellow Rush. At least I think. 
But uh, yeah, so I'm pretty much safe right now. I'm um, just trying to defend, I guess, then. Um, hope we get more economy. And holy crap, 739 economy. I, I think, if I'm reading that right, that is a lot more than usual. I must say, every now and then, um, I, I guess I get lucky and get like a few more economy. Take advantage of that, guys. I would say, um, if you're... If your opponent isn't the super duper most best awesome player ever, then like cut your economy like around the end of round nine. But if your opponent is super duper like OP good, then uh, get it like at the, or cut your economy at the beginning of round nine. Just remember round nine. So anyways, I show my texture right there. He doesn't feel like sending a uh, rainbrush because yeah, he understands the blade maelstrom is too powerful. Um. So yeah, I have my uh dartling gun now, and I'm ready to hold off any basic attack you can send really he tries sending some stuff but really doesn't do that much i just send some ceramics against him and uh, as you can see um you can see um it held off pretty well he has pretty similar defense to me i don't know turned out pretty well so uh yeah i guess it looks like it's going late game we're just getting four two cans actually i would not recommend getting a four two cannon right away uh, maybe save it for a bit later, but yeah, now I'm actually getting two bombs for Moab Mars, which is the smarter thing to do, for sure, without a doubt, and I'm getting these guys up sooner or later. Oh, and now I'm showing the other Dartling Gun, which should go to Hydro Ro Rocket Pods. I actually go for a 1-3 Dartling Gun, then a 2-3 Dartling Gun, just because, um, you know, I need to get that explosion power, even if it's not full speed, it just works out fine. So I do that. Oh, and look at that. He sold him some, some stuff. He's getting a Moab. He sent a Moab at me. However, I destroyed that pretty easily. I actually leaked a little because I bought my Hydro Rock Pods a bit late, unfortunately. And then some ceramics. I hold those off too. So yeah, now I'm I'm pretty much just set. I got my Hydro Rock Pods and Laser Cannon and two with Moab Mars. I'm really set. And now I send him a regrow BFB. He's like, oh, snap. Oh, snap. I got to do something really fast. So, what's he going to do? He's actually selling a lot of stuff. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. He's got a whole lot of his defense. But look at He's sending a fast cooldown regress ceramic rush. And a mo oh, and natural mob will hold off. I did hold off the regress ceramic rush very nicely. And now the final game of the video. Probably this is what matters most right now. My newest um, st addition to the strategy. You're going to see the uh, early rounds are... Um, pretty similar but I do some different stuff in the late game you, you'll see it, it changes up pretty soon same way as I'm up against evil day who's actually at this time kind of lacking strategy for hydro so I'm like okay let's play some games see how this goes and um yeah I'm basically just showing him something pretty cool so he's just doing his old strategy it works out fine I still like my strategy a little bit better because it's he gives the nice economy, and you don't have to rely on others to give you economy. So yeah, Darling Gun's stolen right there. See? I'm just letting that one red balloon get by. I don't even think I pop it. No, I actually do pop it, but that's right when round four starts. So, yeah, just defending stuff. He's actually sending me pink, so I'm getting a 0-1 Darling Gun. So I'm just sitting right there. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm leaking a little, but honestly, I don't give a chainsaw about lives, even if it's Hydro Dam, which I should be kind of safe, but meh. So anyways, he's trying to layer some, like, blues and pinks and stuff. I actually decide... To get my one one darkling gun now so I can aim a little better. I'm focusing at the beginning just in case like sends any pinks. Uh, they will be popped pretty early on. And for now, um, I'm defending pretty well. So uh, yeah, as you see, this round's coming pretty close to an end. I have like 485 economy at already. And um, if you if you know what kind of strategy like you know most people use, this is probably one that actually stop their economy. So yes, this is a very, very greedy strategy. Now you can see he's sending black, so I just aim my 1-1 one, one Dartling Gun down the line. Slowly leak a little, but sometimes I actually hold off like balloons for like a long, long time. Like see, 77, I stayed it for a while, and then I lost 3 more lives. But really, in all, he took like 10 lives from me with those blacks. Now, if you were like playing very slop sloppily early on, 10 lives might make a difference, but... If you're playing smart, then 10 lives aren't that big a deal. Now you see, I have 645 economy. I'm stopping at the beginning of round 9 for this, because I need a bit more money for the round 13 and 15 uh, rushes. Uh, yeah, so 645, that's pretty solid. But yeah, remember, beginning of round 9. So as you can see, I'm getting another Dartling gun right now. Just a random 1-1 one, one Dartling gun right there. I don't know, what's it going to be for extra popping power or something? I'm, I'm not quite sure, actually. Now I'm getting my uh, mortar up to a 1-1. One, one. Or 2-3. 1-3 actually would have worked out just fine. Because then I could use the two Dartling Guns to uh, pop the uh, the whatever extra camels that misses. But whatever. He sends a small Rainbow Rerush. And I just Blade Maelstrom that. 
I, I guess it lags a bit for him. I'm like, yeah, buddy. <laughs> So I'm just sitting here trying to save up a little money. I actually end up selling the mortar. And look at what I get. A Hydro Rocket Pods. And a Hydro Rocket Pods in conjunction with the other Darling is able to hold off Ceramics quite nicely. And also a mixed combo of Rainbow and Ceramic Rush. It takes like $15,000 of Rush to get past me. I send him Regrow Ceramics and I win the game. So that's about it, guys. <laughs> New Hydro Dam strategy. Try it out. Uh, it works quite nicely. It does involve some micro, but it's worth it in the end. So thanks all of you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. More videos coming soon, and peace.